Right, so this session covers essentially how to make your external hard drive work for both Mac and Windows, how to partition um, your hard drive, um, and how to um, select your time machine backup for your external hard drive too as well. Um, I've missed other troubleshooting um, tips that could be that could be helpful whilst um, partitioning um, your hard drive. So first, connect the USB cable of your hard drive to your Mac. Um, click on the Apple icon and click on System Preferences. Make sure you've got a sturdy connection between your hard drive and your MacBook Pro. Otherwise, you might you know have intermittent failures um, whilst um, partitioning your hard drive. Just going to wait for that to do it in a minute. So, systems preferences essentially to access Time Machine, and um, subsequently we're going to click on the Finder to see if our hard drive is readable. So we're going to click on Finder now. So it is readable. You can see the WD Elements external hard drive being um, read by the Mac um, Book Pro as one of the um, devices that that is connected to the computer and is denoted as ESD um, USB. So we're going to click on the launch pad, um, click on disk utility. And this essentially is the location where the formatting and the partitioning takes place. So basically the idea is firstly format, then afterwards and partition. And it's crystal clear that the capacity of the external hard drive is one terabyte as you can see. So we are going to try and format or erase this um, hard drive by clicking on Erase. So here you've got different formatting options. The XFAT enables your hard drive to be readable by both Mac and PCs. MS-DOS FAT32 or NTFS if you're using a PC or Windows. And the Mac OS Extended Journal if you're using Mac or if you want it to be readable by only Mac. So here I have selected the Mac OS Extended Journal because I want to petition um, afterwards um, for XFAT or MS-DOS FAT32. But if, if, you, if all you want to achieve is to, to enable your hard drive for both Mac and, and Windows, just you know, select the XFAT um, option and you should, be, um, you should be done. So basically your XFAT you know, is just a newer version for, for Windows that allows you to transfer um, about four gigabytes of files while, whilst the MS-DOS um, you know, is, is kind of like restricted and stuff. So, so basically I want to petition my hard drive so that I can use one of the petitions um, for my Mac time machine backup and the other petitions um, so that it can be Windows readable and Mac readable. So the correct order is format, petition and select one of the petitions for your time machine backup. But if I, if I go ahead and select, you know, the entire hard drive for my time machine backup, it will backup, but you know, I'm preempting that I will get an error if I subsequently want to use one of the petitions that I create afterwards um, for a time machine backup. So let's test this and see how it goes. So I select the, the whole of the hard drive. Um, I use it for, for backup. Um, it starts the process. Click replace. So this is fine for those that you know want to use the the entire hard drive, you know, to, to for a time machine backup. But for those that um, want their hard drive to to encompass, you know, you know, multiple functionalities, then you know you can you can use your hard drive, you know, as as a readable, writable device, and also you know for for time machine backup. So that's that's what I'm trying to achieve here. But this is absolutely fine if you want to you know, backup, you know, you use your hard drive for, you know, time machine backup. So, subsequently, I will be launching the disk utility to petition, you know, the whole of the hard drive. Um, I want one of the petitions um, to read Windows, one of the petitions to read Mark, and one of the Mac petitions for a time machine backup. So, the one terabyte hard drive will be split into I mean, 500 gigabytes for the time machine backup, uh, 250 gigabytes for the Windows um, readable and writable partition, and 250 gigabytes um, for um, the Mac read write um, partition. But you know, I'm preempting that um, um, by the time I try to um, run um, a time machine backup, it will give me an error, and that's because I've utilized the whole disk, you know, for the time machine backup already. So, if you want your hard drive to encompass multiple functionalities, I would suggest that you perform your 
um, Tamishin back up at the end of the of the petition, as suggested earlier, um, in the right order, you know, um, format petition and Tamishin back up. So we click on petition in disk utility and change the name of each petition and the size of each petition as well as the format for each petition. So the Apple HDD um, is your internal um, storage. That's not what we want. We want the external storage, um, which is your WD element um, hard drive. And here you can see that we've got one gigabyte um, worth of storage in the external hard drive. So by clicking the plus button, we're gonna split the storage into three segments, a 500, 250 and 250 for Mac, Windows and the Time Machine, okay? One tetrabyte makes 1000 gigabytes um, and obviously it's split into three, which is 333 gigabytes. So we're gonna correct all of that um, to 500, 250 and 250, it still makes up one gigabyte anyway. So um, we're just readjusting it to the size of the petitions that we want um, on our own hard drive. So we can edit the data on each segment just by clicking on each segment. So I'm gonna um, adjust all the sizes. I'm gonna rename the the segment or storage and lastly I will be choosing the appropriate um, format so for the time machine backup it's 500 gigabytes um, Mac OS extended journal for the other Mac petition um, it's 250 gigabytes of data storage capacity and the format is Mac OS extended journal and you can choose um, the XFAT or the MS-DOS FAT32. And for the third or last Windows petition, um, it's 250 gig gigabytes of data. You know, like I said previously, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. So if you're looking to transfer files, about four gigabytes, then choose the XFAT. If you're looking to transfer files, you know, less than, you know, four gigabytes of data, then, you know, go for the MS-DOS FAT32, which I've just done. Just double check one more time to make sure you've got the right format, you know, the right size and the right name um, for your petitions. Then you click apply and format the petitions. So although we're petitioning correctly, I'm preempting an error. Um, and that's because I have allocated the hard drive for a full time machine backup in Mac OS extended journal. and now trying to partition it into two different formats, which is the MS-DOS um, 32 and the MS Extended Journal. And now retracting from our earlier position by telling, you know, the petition that, you know, I want to use one third of the hard drive for a time machine backup. You know, obviously it's going to give me some error. So, um, you know, do it in the right order and um, format petition and time machine backup. So let's let's test and see see what happens. And there we go, just like I preempted. Right, so the petition failed um, with the error that has been displayed above. Um, the erase process has failed. Um, so we clicked on continue and try to troubleshoot the disk utility error. So let's troubleshoot and sort out this error. Um, we'd click on the spotlight search button, um, type in terminal. Then afterwards, um, type disk util list, just exactly as I've typed it out here with the space bars and hit enter. Um, we want to reference the dev disk two external with our external hard drive, which is the WD element external hard drive. Um, it's about the only external hard drive that we've got on the Mac at the moment. Um, the other drives that have been displayed are internal drives. So the WD element matches the um, dev disk two external physical drive on um, the terminal. On your computer, it could be different. It could be disk three. So just make sure you check that one. So it would highlight the dev um, disk two. We we'll copy that. And after taking cognizance of dev disk, disk two, um, we type in Claire and hit enter. So from here, we're going to perform a disk util on mount disk force, which is the 
backup disk or external hard drive that was used for the time machine back up the whole um, hard drive so hit a space bar after force and paste dev disk 2 then hit enter um, and hopefully this resolves the problem so we're going to format in the right order that format partition and a time machine select a disk for a time machine back and hopefully this should work hope so you know we're just going to run through basically what we've done before but in the right order so we're going to type in 500 gigabytes for the um, time machine backup and 250 gigabytes for the Mac and Windows um, read write petitions. And remember, um, the preferred option for Windows is XFAT, but I've chosen a MS-DOS FAT32 here. And because the file size that I want to transfer is not above 4 gigabytes of, you know, but um, I would advise that you choose the, the XFAT, okay? Click Apply, click Petition, and it should work. And remember, the XFAT and the MS-DOS um, 32 is visible for both Mac and Windows. So the Time Machine, Mac and Windows should successfully create all petition. And there we go the petition was successful so we we have got three petitions one for windows one for mac and one for the time machine off of the um, one tetrabyte external hard drive and so because we've done it in the right order that we've formatted we've successfully petitioned um, the one tetrabyte external hard drive to three petitions we can now proceed to select our um, time machine and um, disk for backup so select the time machine petition um, use use the disk and um, replace and that should work um, it might take a couple of minutes or so but um, should be fine you know I think it's really important that you do it in the right order um, if you want to use um, you know one of the petitions exclusively for for a time machine backup but you know if you're using the whole external hard drive for the time machine and backup you can use that you know at the onset but if you want to use you know only one portion of the petitioned hard drives um, i would suggest you do that at the tail end so you can see um, the macbook pro has been backed up onto the time machine so whilst the time machine has been backed up I'm going to copy over some files to my Windows and Mac petitions manually, moving them over. So essentially, um, the time machine backup is dependent on, you know, the file sizes, you know, so I probably, I probably, if you, if you want to know how long that's going to take, you can just do a quick check using the get info, um, but shouldn't be long before the time machine finishes yet so we're pretty much done um successful is complete time machine backup um you can also click on the time machine icon to see um if the backup is still in progress or if it's finished and afterwards you can pretty much eject all petitions or all you know drives um, from your external hard drive so that your file system isn't corrupted um, if you found the information in this video useful don't forget to um, hit the like button and subscribe so that you know you'd be you'd be the first to um, receive upcoming videos and um, thank you for your time and thank you for listening goodbye bye